The calendar has turned to February, which means that March is just around the corner. And tonight, a Big East matchup between the DePaul Blue Demons and the Creighton Blue Jays. Mogensen looking inside instead out to Ronsick. Ronsick over to Saunders. And now here's a three. Nice job there by Morgan Molly, the star. Over the last couple of years, the All-American. What a start that she has had to her college career. Here's another three. This one from Ronsick for DePaul in the first quarter. Uh, that's the bread and butter for DePaul there, if she can clean up those misses. And there's a three-point answer on the other end. Kennedy Townsend, another freshman. Thank you so much, Anna. Missed three there by Ronsick, but another offensive rebound. And that leads to a three from Lauren Jensen, her first tonight. Here's Molly, Morgan Molly. And that will lead to a timeout by Doug Bruno as his team suddenly trailing 32 to 15. Jensen, what a pump fake. Bachelor inside, no foul, bucket goes. So as the first half now, 3.08 to go. Creighton has it clinging to that seven point lead. Saunders, wow, what a dime to a cutting Emma Ronson. Jensen does it all by herself. Nice work off the glass. Uh, she just well rounded game as we saw those seven assists in the first half. A triple double earlier this year. Here's another three. This one from Morgan Molly and extends the lead back to nine. 40 from three point land. The sophomore, what a performance she is putting on. Molly trying to answer Morgan Molly. She misses a rebound from Emma Ronsick right over Rimmer. Saunders for three. And what an answer, giving the Jays an 11 point lead again. Well Kicks it back out to Ronsick with the pump fake. Ronsick finds a wide open Jamie Horan. And the Blue Jays back up by a dozen. Jensen out to Saunders. Saunders with the pump fake, picks up her dribble. Back to Lauren Jensen, pulls up from the free throw line. Watches it go in and Creighton's league back up to a dozen. Although Jury Allen playing with, or excuse me, Jory Allen playing with four fouls now. And we don't know if we're gonna see Kiki Rimmer again in this one so much better at finishing in close range after really being a bomber last year. What a steal, nice job there by Saunders. She goes coast to coast and makes it a 12 point game. You're missing a big chunk of your scoring, not only from her, but from some of your other starters who are out tonight. Here's Jensen with that quick release. Drops another three, Lauren Jensen now up to 19 points, leads the way for Creighton, three of eight. Teams. I think the, the travel caught up with them. They had some losses that otherwise they wouldn't want to have. Morgan Molly knocks in that three to make it a 16-point game. But Atisa Morrow, because everybody in the nation seems to get burned by this All-American stud. Yeah, if anything, wow, Saunders with a nice fake there, lays it in. Look at this, no quit, even to the buzzer they're doubling. Even at the very end, and that will do it. Good defense, good fight towards the end, but DePaul falls. Creighton with a 83 to 74 victory. They move now to 15 and six on the season, nine and four in conference play.